Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing another hack the box walkthrough on an easy box called Optimum. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. Let's get into it and have some fun. All right, everyone. So I just made a boo boo. That's my bad, but we're going to go ahead and start over. As I was doing the box, I realized that I wasn't recording. Once I submitted the user flag, I looked down and my OBS was not recording. So I stopped about at least eight minutes in and I was talking smack like usual. So yeah, whatever. So we're gonna be doing Optimum. So it's an easy machine and I wanna go ahead and show you guys the machine info, what we're gonna be getting into. So about Optimum, it's a very beginner friendly machine which mainly focuses on enumeration of services with known exploits. Both exploits are pretty easy to obtain and can be associated with Metasploit modules, making this uh, machine fairly simple to complete. So you can see, if you can, let me scroll up a little bit. This is from 2007, this machine, so it's relatively old. So the first flag was pretty simple and I wanna go through that whole process again, obviously. So let's go ahead and minimize this for now. And I want to go ahead and do, I did an nmap scan already. So I want to go ahead and cat out my results. I'm at, like I said, 10.129.2.2.7.99. Uh, and the only port that's open is port 80. And the service or the ver service is HTTP. The version is HTTP file server HTTPD 2.3. Okay, so let's just go ahead and browse out to this IP address and see what's cooking out there. Let's open up another and just paste that there. All right, so here we have no files in the folder. So it's pretty much like a FTP server, it seems like. So file HTTP file server 2.3. So what you can do is just copy this. Well, let me highlight it first. And, oh man, let's go ahead, oh, whatever. I guess I could do that as well. So which HFS, uh, HTTP file server, so it's a fresh server. So what I wanna do, since we know the version, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. And what I wanna do here is go ahead and just open up Metasploit, MSF, MSF console. All right, so once this is open, I wanna go ahead and show you guys what I did. I made some notes as I was going. So, you know, we'll leave off where I left off because this is the first time I did this box. I haven't done this box before today. So yeah, so, so let's just wait for this thing to cook over here. Okay, so this is what I was uh, talking smack about, but I, I haven't seen, I haven't used Metasploit in quite a bit, and I'm really digging this like jobs and agents, and you'll see that in a second once we get on the machine. So what I have going on, this is my little, you know, figlet, and down here I have the IP address of my, uh, of my, my machine so I don't forget it. So anyhow, so yeah, cause I opened up that because I need to put my local host and I can do set lo uh, local ho L host to ton zero, but whatever, it is what it is. But anyhow, what we're gonna do is I wanna go ahead and search for, let me go ahead and paste that in and it's 2.3, right? So in here we have some modules that match HTTP file server 2.3. Okay, so if we come down over here, I use number four here. So all you have to do is use four. Okay, once we hit that, we can see that we are in this exploit. Okay, we can do show options. And then what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're just going to fill in the blanks for the R host and then for the local host. And then we're going to exploit. Okay, so let's do set R host. And then it's going to be here, 10.129.22799. Let's hit enter there. And then I wanna go ahead and do set L host, L host. And I was gonna do ton zero. I can do that or put that 10 address in. Just show options one more time, just to make sure everything is good. The exploit is automatic. You can also, you know, you can put a Metas uh, meterpreter reverse TCP but I'm sure it's gonna do it by itself because we're gonna go ahead and just run and see what happens. 
Once we run this, we should get a shell on that machine. And we do, we have Meterpreter Sessions 1 open. Okay, uh, my hair is a little itchy. Okay, so this is what I was talking about when I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So here we have Meterpreter 1, and then you, we can see where we're at. So literally, we can just do an LS and we can see we're in this directory, which I think is pretty cool. So we can just go ahead and cat user.txt, and that was the user flag that I got, okay? So that was pretty simple, literally Metasploit. And I wanna use, yeah, you know, I wanna continue to use Metasploit for this, and this is where I was at. Now, I was a little further when I <laughs> realized that I wasn't recording. I was doing the privas aspect, but there's multiple ways so what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and background this just so we can have it. So if I do show, show sessions, and we have one session here, okay? So let's go ahead and what I wanna do now, I have it written down because since I had to cancel everything, I wanna go ahead and use this, I wanna go use exploits, Windows, local, and then it's gonna be M6, MS16. And I found this on Google, so you can go ahead and, and Google it as well. And right here, so second, secondary logon handle of Privesk. Okay, we can hit enter here. And then if we do show sessions, it's mine is my ID is number one. So what I want to do here is set sessions one. Do you mean session? Yes, I mean session, sorry. All right, so now what we're doing was we're interacting with that one session that we were utilizing. So technically I just can do set L host tunnel zero and then exploit and see if we can privesk on that machine. And if we can, I didn't get this far yet. I This is the first time I'm doing this. Well, I've got some errors. Well, that seems bug. Oh, how you doing? All right, so who am I? Well, I can just do get UID. All right, so I am system authority. So if I do sys info, we can see everything. Okay, so technically if I do cd dot dot, and do an ls or cd dot dot again. I'm sorry because we need to get into we need to get into the administrator. All right, so cd administrator and then ls and we'll see what's cooking there. And then we just have to cd to desktop and then ls and then we, there it goes to root.txt. We can cat root.txt and we just pwn this baby. So I'm eight years late, but I did it. We did it, we did it together. So hopefully let's go ahead and submit this next flag for root and submit. And let's see what rating, oh, voila, we did it. So we got another machine pwned. So we pwned optimum, optimum prime. But let's go ahead and hit okay. And I wanna say that was pretty easy. Right, that was pretty easy. So that is it for this video on Optimum from Hack the Box. So I hopefully you guys found this informative. If you have any questions about this machine or any other machines that you want me to do, like I said, I wanna start doing some retired machines at least once a week. I wanna start off with some easy ones, then get into some medium and go on from there. So if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And I really appreciate all the love and support. Please again, like, subscribe and share and uh, let's keep growing. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.